Today, I would like to share God's grace regarding to the significance of the Lord's Day. Hopefully, uh, through this message, may we understand what kind of day the Lord's Day is and why we need to come to the Lord's Day with a festive heart. Right, so being number one today is... Uh, the Lord's Day is the first day of the creation, right? The Lord's Day is the first day of creation. As you know, the Judaism, the, 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 the Israel in the Old Testament, right? They are Judaism, right? Mm. And they uh, sanctified and, and separate the seventh day, which is Saturday, and they worship God, they gather at the temple, they gather at the tabernacle, they worship God, give sacrifices to God on the seventh day, the Sabbath day, right? But uh, when it comes to the New Testament, right, uh, that this custom has been changed, right? So the early church, the early church period, those who have faith in Jesus Christ, right, they changed this custom from Sabbath to the Lord's day, and there were two reasons, right? There were two reasons. The first reason uh, that they made the Lord's Day or they uh, start gathering and worshiping God on the Lord's Day instead of the Sabbath is because the Lord's Day is the first day of the creation. First day of the creation. Uh, you may have come across once or twice that when you use Google Calendar or any kind of digital calendar in your phone, it asks you which day you want to set as the first day of the week. Have you had this uh, function or option before? Right? It usually asks you uh, to choose between Sunday or Monday, right? So either your calendar can start from Monday to s Monday and it finishes with Sunday, or it starts with Sunday or Lord's Day, right? And it finishes with Saturday. If, it, if a week starts with a Monday, it, it finishes with Sunday, right? Thus, such Saturday and Sunday become a weekend, a weekend. This probably fits with how the people live in, in the current society, right? They call it, they call Saturday and Sunday as a weekend, right? They regard Monday as the first day of the week because Monday is the day that they go to work. They go to their business, right? And the Saturday and Sunday, they take rest. So they prefer to call Saturday and Sunday as a weekend, right? And Monday as the beginning of the week. However, as seven days a week system is not developed by the people of this world, uh, if you have studied a bit, you may understand that people used to use 10 days a week system or they have an understanding of number 12, a dozen system, right? But uh, seven, number, the seven, seven days a week system or anything, the seven day cycle system is not developed by man. And you can understand this seven days a week system doesn't really fit with anything that we have, right? The, if a month is 30 days, it cannot be divided by seven uh, clearly, right? If, if a year is 365 days, it cannot be divided by seven, uh, you know, clearly, right? It always leaves something there. So uh, the seven days a week system is not developed by people. It's not developed by human beings. Although later on, right, they received it and they start using it, but seven days a week system is not developed by uh, people, but it was created and given, uh, created by God and given to the people of Israel. So God is the one who created this seven days a week system. God is the one who introduced this seven days a week system to us. So we should know, we should read the Bible and we should know how it is described in the Bible, right? How it is described in the Bible. The book of Genesis explains about the creation. As we all know, God created the heavens and the earth and all the living creatures that are in it for six days, right? For six days and rested on the seventh day. 
which is called Sabbath, Sabbath day, right? Sabbath. Mm. We know that the day of Sabbath is Saturday, right? Day of Sabbath is Saturday. Therefore, the first day of the week should be Sunday or the Lord's day, right? So the first day of the week or the first day of the creation is Sunday or Lord's day. Then what happened on the Lord's day during the creation? What happened on the first day of the week during the creation? If we look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 to 5, you can see uh, on the screen, Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 to 5, it says, Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness, and God called the light day. And the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, one day. Right, so just during the first day, during the Lord's day, uh, in, the, in the creation time, God created light, right? God created light and separate from the darkness. That's what God did. So my dear brother and sister, we may have darkness and troubles in our body, in our heart, in our family, in our business, in our relationship with the others, or in our country. We may feel the time of COVID-19 is the time of darkness, right? Because nothing goes well, nothing uh, grows well, right? Everything is being crushed, everything is pulling down at the moment, declining, right? And uh, some of you may uh, encounter a moment that, you know, really you are surrounded by this thick darkness, right? You cannot see anything, you cannot find anything, you cannot uh, see any way to uh, come out. So we may say that we are surrounded by this darkness, right? Or we may, we may live in the time of darkness. However, no matter how great darkness it is, when God speaks, let there be light, there will be light. Amen? Mm. That's what happened on the Lord's day, isn't it? That's, the, that's what happened on the first day of the week, first day of the creation, and that's what happened on the Lord's day, right? Uh, Lord's day, God created the light and separate it from the darkness. I believe that really gives us a great hope today, isn't it? As I said, we may be surrounded, we may be uh, uh, fell into, we may trap into this darkness, right? But if God says, uh, let there be light, there will be light, right? There will be light. And when did God uh, create light? It was on the Lord's day. It was on the Lord's day. I believe that's the significance. That tells us about the significance of the Lord's Day, right? Lord's Day is the day that God created light and separated from darkness. Therefore, if we keep the Lord's Day, right? If we come to, the, come to God and, 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 and worship God with a celebrating heart, I believe the same work, same creation work, same uh, blessing, that God creates uh, light and separate uh, the light from darkness will happen to us and will be given to us. Of course, God can do anything at any time. However, we can see from the Bible that when God create light and separate from darkness, that was on the Lord's day. That was on the Lord's day. My dear brothers and sisters, I truly believe that if we keep the Lord's day holy, if we keep coming, right? If we, in the year 2021, if we keep every Lord's day, right? And give God our service and our worship, right? I believe God will use the Lord's day to create light among us, light in us, right? Even if we are surrounded, even if we are living in the time of thick and thorough darkness, right? Doesn't matter. 
right? Even if we cannot see anything, if God says, let there be light, there will be light. And I believe God will say, God will say, let there be light in the Lord's Covenant Church. Let there be light in every uh, single family and every one of you. And God will say, let there be light in, every, in, in all the businesses, right? And God will say, let there be light in Malaysia and let there be light in this world. Amen? So that's the reason, that's the why we should come. We should come to the Lord's day, right? With a celebrating heart. It is the day that God will create life for us, right? So uh, who is the light then? Who is the light? If you look at Matthew chapter 4 verse 16, Matthew chapter 4 verse 16, it says, the people who were sitting in darkness saw a great light, and to those who were sitting in the land uh, and shadow of death upon them a light dawned. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 2, it says, the people who walk in darkness will see a great light. Those who will live in a dark land, the light will shine on them. Right? This great light indicates and refers to Jesus Christ. Right? Jesus Christ. So the light uh, the great light, uh, that is Jesus Christ. On the Lord's day, uh, if we keep coming and if we keep giving God services, if we keep, uh, 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 if we keeping this Lord's day and giving God services and, and our praises, right? That God will give us light. God will give us Jesus Christ. And through Him, through the light, all the darkness that surround us will be removed and will be cast away. Amen. May such blessing be given to all those people who joined this Lord's Day today and uh, Lord's Day service today and who determined not to miss any single Lord's Day in year 2021. Amen. Secondly, the Lord's Day is the day of Jesus' resurrection. Day of Jesus' resurrection. As I said, this is the second reason why early church period, early church, right? They decide the Lord's Day. Because it's the day of Jesus' resurrection. Uh, it's Mark chapter 16, verse 2, right? Mark chapter 16, verse 2 to 4. But in Korean Bible, it says that it was the day after the Sabbath. In an ASB, and in English uh, Bible, it is actually translated as the, it's the first day of the week. But somehow in Korean Bible, it is translated as the, it's the day after the Sabbath, right? Day after the Sabbath. So day after the Sabbath, which is the Sunday, which is the first day of the week, right? Some women in the early morning went up to the tomb where Jesus was laid. On the way, they worried. What good it is to go up to the tomb because they saw it was blocked with a great big stone last night, right? And they were not able to remove it, right? So if there is, there is no one to help them to remove this stone, uh, what good it is to go up to the tomb? They cannot go in, they cannot see inside, they cannot do anything in, inside the tomb, right? So they had a worries, they had a concerns. However, when they reached, the stone was already rolled away and tomb was open because Jesus has risen, right? So Mark chapter 16, verse 2 to 4. Let me read it for you. And very early on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled away, although it was extremely large. So these women were filled with the worries and anxieties, isn't it? They were going up to uh, this tomb of Jesus Christ, Right, and uh, they were they were running toward to it. Right, they were they were moving towards the to where Jesus was laid. But still, the, in their heart, there were worries and concerns. Who is going to help us? 
we are not able to we are not able to uh, remove the stone we are not able to uh, uh, roll the roll the rolled away the stone so who is going to help us where is my help but when they reached the resurrected jesus what happened they no longer needed to worry isn't it they no longer needed to worry jesus had a reason and the stone that they were they worried about is already been removed isn't it? Stone that they stone that caused them to worry was already so they already already removed. Dear my brother and sister, when we began our journey to year 2021, as we have never been to, there may be many worries and concerns and anxieties. Because of COVID-19, we may have even more worries and concerns and anxieties, right? However, Let's cast them to Jesus because he cares for us and he will sustain us, right? We should cast all our worries and concerns and anxiety to Jesus Christ because he cares for us. So if you look at Psalm 55 verse 22, Psalm 55 verse 22, it says, Cast your burden upon the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. And Proverbs the 16 verse 3, it says, Commit your works to the Lord, and your plans will be established. Right? So Jesus took away all the worries and concerns, isn't it? Mm. Jesus was risen, all right? And Jesus took away all the worries. They were filled with the worries, but when they reached to Jesus, when they saw the resurrected Jesus, uh, when they reached to the resurrected Jesus, right, uh, their concerns and their worries are all gone already, isn't it? And when that happened, when did Jesus take away the worries of the woman? On the Lord's day, isn't it? On the Lord's day. So when do you think Jesus will take away our worries and our concerns? Of course, every day whenever we pray to God, whenever we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, right? But according to today's message, right? According to today's scripture, it was on the Lord's day that Jesus took away worries and concerns, right? So I believe it will be the same. It will be the Lord's day that Jesus will take away our anxieties, our worries and concerns. And this is the second reason why we should uh, celebrate the Lord's day together. Why, why we should not miss the Lord's day service. Because it's the moment, it's the time that Jesus will come and take away your worries, your concerns and your anxieties. Do you want to cast your anxieties and your worries to Jesus Christ? Then do not miss the Lord's day. On the Lord's day, Jesus took away. So on the Lord's day, Jesus will take your worries away. Right, so uh, if, we go, if we go a little further, what kind of worries that Jesus took care of? What kind of worries Jesus took care? The first is that the who is going to move the stone, right? So it could be kind of physical issue, right? Who is going to help us? We are too weak. We are unable, right? We are fragile. We are, we are not strong enough to move uh, the stone. And when, when they reached the uh, tomb, when they met the resurrected Jesus, the 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 stone is already been uh, uh the solved right the it the, the physical help was was given to them so whenever we have the uh, physical issue physical uh help right we should pray to god right and when we uh, come to jesus christ on the lord's day i believe that we will get physical help Right? Not only spiritual, not only uh, the you know emotional help, but physical help as well. Right? That our Lord Jesus, our God, will provide us. So if you need any physical help, come to God on the Lord's day. Right? And He will give it to you. 
Secondly, what kind of worries that Jesus took a care? It's, if you look at John chapter 20, verse 13 to 14, John chapter 20, verse 13 to 14, it says, And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where, the, where, where they have laid him. When she said this, she turned around and beheld Jesus standing there, and did not know that it was Jesus. So second uh, was, uh, I named it as a, we don't know where Jesus is. That was the issue, isn't it? The women uh, uh, went there, the stones, now the issue of stone is gone, right? The physical help, they already got it. So it's already resolved. However, they could not find Jesus inside. So she started weeping, right? And she's saying that, I don't know where my Lord is. I don't know where my Jesus is, right? I don't know where my God is. I thought if I come here, I could, I could see him. I could meet with him, right? But I came here, I don't see him anymore. Where can I find him? But on the Lord's day, right? On the Lord's day. It's, it's the same Lord's day. When they were weeping, right? Jesus appeared to them and said, Do not uh, weep, right? Do not cry. Jesus uh, was standing, uh, standing there. Jesus appeared to them. Jesus uh, met them. Jesus was found by them. Are we not having this spiritual question, spiritual issue? Where Jesus is, where God is, where our Father is. I cannot see Him anymore. I want to see Him. I want to be with Him. Right? When we have such, such issue, uh, what, what should we do? I believe we should come to the church on the Lord's day, right? We should give God services on the Lord's day because on the Lord's day, Jesus was found. Jesus showed himself. Jesus met these women uh, who were weeping and who were, who were seeking to find Jesus, right? So if you want to find uh, Jesus Christ, if you want to see Jesus Christ, if you want to meet our Father God, then we should come, right? You should come, we should come to uh, service on the Lord's day. And if we truly cry out and seeking to, seeking to meet Jesus Christ, I believe God will bless us and God will allow us to see Jesus Christ. God will allow, God allow us to see His face and, uh, and, and His presence. Amen? So this happened on the Lord's day as well. Those who were seeking to see Jesus Christ, they saw Jesus, although they didn't understand, but they saw Jesus, right, on the Lord's day. So I pray that may such a blessing, may, same, may, may the same blessing be given to all those who seek to see uh, the face of Jesus Christ and the face of Father God. Amen. Thirdly, the fear of death. Uh, fear of death. As you know, the, the young man or the angel appeared to the uh, women, right? And said that the uh, go tell disciples and the Peter that the Jesus will go into Galilee before you, right? However, the Peters and all the disciples were uh, filled with the fears. Fear, fear of the Jews, fear of the death. Because if they, are, if they got caught, they will be put to death, right? So they were not moving to Galilee yet. They were still in this room together. They were there to move anywhere, right? And if you look at John chapter 20, verse 19, 19 to 22. John chapter 20, verse 19 to 22. It says, When therefore it was evening on that day, the first day of the week, which means what? It's the same day, right? When, the, when Jesus was resurrected, when Jesus resurrected, right? It's the same day, the first day of the week. It's the same Lord's day. 
And when the doors were shut where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. And uh, when he had said this, he showed them both his hands and his side. The disciples therefore rejoiced uh, when they saw the Lord. Jesus therefore said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Right? Receive the Holy Spirit. So the people, the disciples, were filled with the fears of the Jews, fear of the death. Right? And they were not, they were too scared to open the window or open the door. Right? And on the same day, on that night, Jesus appeared to them. Jesus uh, appeared to them and said, Peace be with you. And Jesus breathed unto them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Right? Receive the Holy Spirit. Later on, about 50 days later, what happened? There was a Pentecost. There was a, the Feast of the uh, Weeks, right? The Pentecost. And uh, all the disciples, all the followers of Jesus Christ received the Holy Spirit, right? The Redemptive History series will provide a uh, exact calculation, but there are there are there are people saying it was on Sunday and it was or it was on Monday, but I believe the Pentecost happened on Sunday as well, right? The the Holy Spirit came down upon the disciples. It happened on the Lord's day, on the Lord's day, right? Jesus on the Lord's day visited them. When they were shut all the doors, right, and breathed unto them and received the Holy Spirit, and then seven weeks later, on the same Lord's day, right, the Holy Spirit strongly came upon them. And then what happened? They overcame the fear of death, isn't it? That's what the, the, the book of Acts uh, explains, explains to us about, isn't it? They boldly went out to the street and stopped preaching. Start testifying about Jesus Christ. Before that, they were so scared. How? What if I got caught, right? Uh, what if? What if I got? Uh, I, 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 I got put to death, right? But when they received the Holy Spirit, as Jesus said, they overcame the fear of death. Are you having fear of death? Are you still fearing death? My dear brothers and sisters, on the Lord's day, overcoming, the blessing of overcoming the fear of death, that was given to the disciples of Jesus Christ on the Lord's day, on the Lord's day. And I would like to, I, I believe that the same blessing will be given to us on the Lord's day, on the Lord's day. Of course, for for the for the people who are living in the New Testament, right time, the Lord's day is not only Lord's day. Monday is also Lord's day. Tuesday is Lord's day. Wednesday is Lord's day. Thursday is Lord's day. Friday is Lord's day. Saturday is a Lord's day, and Sunday is Lord's day, right? Uh, not only uh, one day a week is Lord's day, but seven days, uh, all of them should be Lord's day, right? And if you are living uh, with a such faith, then I believe any time, any day, right, that Jesus can come and God will come and bless you with uh, uh, this blessing of overcoming the fear of death or the power to overcome the, uh, the power of death, right? However, uh, uh, if if we are not there yet, right, then I believe that it is the Lord's day that God will pour out His blessing upon us. It is the Lord's day that God will give us this power and blessing to overcome the power of death. Jesus broke the power of death on the Lord's day, isn't it? Jesus resurrected on the Lord's day. That is the day that the power of death is broken, has been broken. Hmm. We are under, we are still under the power of death, right? We are still under, uh, actually we are not, but uh, uh, we are still uh, 
let's say we are still under the power of death, when that the power of death will be broken? On the Lord's day. On the Lord's day, right? And I believe that is the reason why we should uh, truly uh, value the Lord's day. On the Lord's Day, so many blessings and so many uh, the promises and covenants are, are being given to us and are being promised to us, right? And that is the reason why we should keep the Lord's Day. My dear brothers and sisters, I know that none of you would have such, such a, a thought, but do not think casually about the Lord's Day. If I, I, if I miss it today, I will just go to church next week. Do not have such, such idea, right, in 2021. Every, let's count every Lord's Day, right? Every single Lord's Day. And let's come to this every single Lord's Day with this celebrating her festive mind. Right? It is the day that God will create light in us. It is the day that God will give us Jesus Christ. Right? It is the day that God will uh, give us, uh, enable us to overcome the power of death as well. Jesus broke the power of death on the Lord's day. And we will be enabled to break the power of death on the Lord's day as well. What a great blessing we are, are going to have, isn't it? And if you look at Gen uh, Genesis chapter 2, the creation, the work of creation part. When, when God create uh, light there, and the Bible says, God saw that it was good, right? God saw that it was good. Light being created among darkness. For God, for in, in, in the eyes of God, it is a good thing. It is, it, is a, it, is a, it is a wonderful thing, right? And God wants us to uh, cooperate, work together with God so that, you know, men like us or, or the darkness, right? Within this darkness, right? God wants to create light in us. God wants to give Jesus in us. God wants to give the Word of God in us. So that that Word, that Jesus, that light can destroy and cast out all the darkness and all the worries and all the uh, anxieties. And even it breaks the power of them. Lord's Day is the beginning of Christianity. Right? Judaism, they don't believe Jesus Christ, right? They don't believe the Messiah as the Jesus Christ. So they don't believe the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's why they still remain on the Saturday. They still give services on Saturday. But uh, the Christians, Christianity, right, we believe the resurrection of the uh, Jesus Christ, right? So it's the Lord's day that Lord resurrected on the, on the, on the, on the Lord's day. The Lord's Day is the beginning of Christians and of the Christianity. Lord's Day is when our, our, our Lord Jesus resurrected and it was the day that the door of eternal life is open to us. The founding pastor uh, uh, explains uh, this twice. Uh, in year 2016, uh, 2006, and, 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 and emphasize the importance of the Lord's Day, right? Importance of keeping the Lord's Day. And, and he, he emphasized that we should not uh, think the Lord's Day is just one of the day or one of the service, one of the things that in the, in the list that we should check. But it's the day we should come with this celebrating up, right? Great expectation every Lord's Day. Wow, God is going to create light in us, right? Wow, God is going to give Jesus in us. God is going to impart His Word in us. God is going to break the, uh, the, the, the power, of, power of death in us. By keep giving services on the Lord's Day, by keeping the Lord's Day holy and properly, I believe you and I, will be led to his kingdom 
because in Genesis chapter 2 verse 3, Genesis 2 verse 3 says, God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, right? Although it, is, it says it's the seventh day, but we can understand it's the Lord's day, right? God uh, blessed the Lord's day and sanctified, right? And whoever touches the sanctified stuff or the holy stuff, they will also be sanctified, the Bible says. So by keeping the Lord's day, we will be blessed. I mean, that's the formula. That's the definition, right? That's the law. Uh, there is no uh, but, right? There is no but, right? If we keep the Lord's day, then we will be blessed. If we keep the Lord's day, then we will be sanctified. If we keep the Lord's day, we will receive light. If we keep the Lord's day, we will receive Jesus. If we keep the Lord's day, we will receive the word. And if we keep the Lord's day, the power of death will be broken. Amen? So, I hope that you uh, not hear my voice today, but hear the voice of God. And really, what God, what God, uh, understand what God tried to increase, how God, try, how God encourages you today, right? And uh, how we should come to the Lord's day from next week. Hope that you understand this. And, and, and I pray that may all the people who join this service receive the blessing and the promises that God promised uh, to those who keep this Lord's day. Amen.